From fan favourite mobile games to the Chapter 1 map returning, we have in today's video with the release of UEFN or Creative 2.0 everything you need to know. I think it's safe to say the broadcast today, if you haven't already seen it, there's footage in the background right now, shocked everyone, not only from the realism it portrays from literally Fortnite made cinematics by Epic Games, but as you can see right here in this particular gameplay, this is the first showcase of a made boss fight. If watching footage, cinematics or even just things on the internet doesn't satisfy you, however, enter this island code to get the full experience that Epic Epic Games have literally made themselves to show off all the capabilities of Creative 2.0 or UEFN. There's many more map codes to come including the Chapter 1 Island one, so stay tuned for that alongside trailers for brand new creations by the community, but speaking of creations, FNBR Intel tweeted out earlier from the broadcast itself or official stream that Epic Games put out there stating that Fortnite has a player base of 500 million and 40% of that are predominantly already creative before 2.0 launch. With the capabilities of now being able to port anything or any model should I say into Fortnite as you've seen some very interesting creations like Shrek in the background right now, the full showcase of this Pokemon leak, you heard that right from this user over on Twitter, which not only have already been used to create FNAF like jump scares from this particular clip right here floating about on Twitter, and let's not of course forget maps like this which basically show off the POV of first person before it's fully introduced although we did get an early look at it and got confirmation that it would be releasing in Chapter 4 Season 2. And before we move on to everything Chapter 1, look how insanely close we are to 2.53 million subscribers. Subscribers. Hit the subscribe button right now, turn on all notifications, it only benefits you at the end of the day as I do try and give 5 people off my friends list who subscribed, commented what they'd like below and their epic games ID and who knows you could be showcased in the next video. Me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug want to thank you for supporting code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop, literally one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter so enter it if you haven't already. Speaking of supporter creator, despite them removing the devices from creative now that you could actually you know instantly enter a pre-typed in creator code from the creator of that map, don't worry they haven't vaulted the support a creator program, it still exists, however they've kind of added to it with an economy 2.0 that they've released alongside creative 2.0. How this works is they're going to be paying the creators of maps to make the best experience for players possible to keep them on the game obviously. Depending on the amount of people that play the map, I'm guessing that means how much Fortnite of course pay you, but either way it's going to be a huge funded thing as Epic Games are going to be putting in an investment of 40% of what's earned from the item shop purchases. Yes you heard that right, literally all the V-Bucks we're spending, all the money we're putting into it, 40% of all of that is going back to the creators that obviously make the maps that you are going to love in the very near future. In terms of how you get Unreal Editor for Fortnite, of course it's on the Epic Games store right now, you need to buy it for like zero dollars, so obviously it's free, it's a free download, it costs zero of whatever currency or country of the world you're in. Here's what it looks like from the creator standpoint of trying to, you know, mess with props and even import different things that we've never before seen in Fortnite or had the capability to do with normal creative. With that said, we know over the prior days too that have passed with creative teams having an alpha access to it that they're all racing to create the best version of the OG Chapter 1 Island. Before we dive into all the news and intel about that and the map codes, of course we can't forget about how this is going to affect other games and the universe of gaming overall with them integrating things like Flappy Bird, yes you heard that right. Literally nearly a decade ago this was one of the most popular mobile game apps that took the internet by storm or just the world by storm and then got deleted or removed off of it. As you can see from the background right now, FireMonkey tweeted out that we we now have Flappy Bird or a similar creation to it arcade style game within Fortnite that we can play. I believe this was made by Infinity Studios and here's the code for that on screen right now. Of course we need to interact with the arcade machine upon loading that up so feel free to yep, go and play this and test it for yourself right now and see what score you can get. We then also have games made by the likes of Unite, FN or Team Unite which actually have a giant Peely as the enemy so it seems in this colour switch based mode where basically the panels are all removed except one colour of course and there's different variables to this game mode which make it really fun for your friends to play. Of course, this is the code for that on screen right now which they also included at the very end of their trailer but the main question everybody is wondering are what are the OG map island codes? Yes, I'm sure you've seen the cinematics and the trailers and even the creations in process thanks to everything pouring out or releasing today to do with Creative 2.0 or UEFN. As for why you can't find any of the OG maps right now when I'm recording or perhaps you're watching is because as Echo stated right here, rumour, according to Cypher PK, both OG map recreations were over the memory limit by a decent amount. Apparently both teams are currently trying to make drastic changes to make the maps eligible for a smooth publishing experience, take this with a huge grain of salt. This is obviously understandable considering Epic expected people to be making their very own like indie maps or game modes, however this is literally the entire island matched in a one for one of detail to the original one that Epic Games obviously had back in 2017. As soon as these 
these codes are released, I'll update the pinned comment on this video, so you can simply go there and enter the island code that I've got down there in the comments. For the first ever experience of an OG map, but speaking of that, despite us showing trailers and footage in the background right now, as you can see, OG Royale, who are actually, you know, creating as a team the Battle Royale Island for Chapter 1, they already have in-game footage of it, in case you were wondering what it's going to be like now, using skins that are released where after the fact, or even just now in 2023 on the original Battle Royale Island, as it seems so long ago. Personally, I think Atlas are going to be doing it the most accurate, and of course, I'll have all the codes down below in the comments when they've released for these OG Chapter 1 Islands of what are the best, and my rank or particular favoured order. With that said, drop a like in this video to save it to the like playlist so you can refer back to it and get the island codes from my pinned comment, and subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any future updates or uploads. As for other videos, now click this one on screen I've picked out for you, but most importantly, hopefully I can catch you in the very next video I do post on the channel.